Our next speaker is Joe A. Tate, with the subject, A Whole New World of Jogging. With the subject, A Whole New World of Jogging, please welcome Joe A. Tate. Imagine, right in front of me, the mountains and mountains of pancakes. Strawberry ice cream. So nice. Mmm, yum. And all of a sudden, my mom shouted at me. Stop daydreaming about food. You need to jog. <laughs> and I say, but mom, I need food for um, my brain. Look at me. My brain, my head is very big. And this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Contact chat. Ladies and gentlemen, I hated jogging. The reasons were simple. Jogging was boring, monotonous, and repetitive, especially jogging in a park. Just imagine, when you jog in a park for three laps, you will see the same dirty green trees, <laughs> half-dead red flowers, fake smiling joggers who try to look happy for no reason, <laughs> and slow old walkers who block every jogger's way. How annoying! I hated jogging! Well, one night, when I was asleep, I had the most amazing dream. I was given a message written by Alexander Graham Bell. The message was, when one door closes, another door opens. Yes, we often look so regretfully upon the closed door that we don't see the one that has opened for us. Things don't change. You change your way of looking. That's all. Since then, I've started to change my perspective of looking at things. For instance, jogging. Well, I have discovered a whole new world of jogging. First of all, jogging is a great way to make new friends, especially hot, sexy, and muscular guys like you. <laughs> Let me show you a very simple yet awesome technique which I have observed from my friend Sarah. Day number one, while Sarah and I were jogging in the park, Sarah said, Hey, there's a big fish there. <laughs> and I say, hmm, there's no fish pond here, Sarah. Mm. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shush, a big fish means a good looking guy. That's a good looking guy. Now, why not you wait here and today I'm going <coughs> to catch that fish? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun, Sarah. I was planning to cook real salmon tonight. That way you can catch a big salmon. <laughs> and off Sarah went. Ah! Ah! Could you help me up? Uh, yeah, I think I hurt my ankle. Oh. Uh, you are a very, very strong man. <laughs> It makes my day brighter. <laughs> Could you believe that a week later, Sarah was asked to date with him? I got a shock. Sometimes I think that men are fools. <laughs> I couldn't believe that with just two conversations and a few sexy wings, <laughs> Sarah was asked to date with him. Alright, I admit that I and beat Sarah. But isn't Sarah's technique a good way to date a charming man? <laughs> Jogging is indeed a joy. Secondly, I love to observe and form interesting stories to share with people. Well, I found jogging in the park helped me to exercise this habit. One of my interesting observations is when you see a woman and a man jogging, you can actually tell their status of marriage. For example, pre-marriage scenario, the guy will be chasing after the lady. 
Hey, sorry. <laughs> hey, baby, are you free tonight? <laughs> there is. For post-marriage scene, the husband will try to get away from his wife as far as possible. Hooray, I'm free from an annoying wife! <laughs> well, here's mm. another story. A few days ago, I met an old couple, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Well, as what I have mentioned for the post-marriage scenario, Mr. Smith was way ahead of Mrs. Smith. I jogged past Mr. Smith and I asked, Hi, Mrs. Smith, why isn't your husband walking together with you? And Mrs. Smith said, We had a quarrel. Oh, what was it about? <laughs> that foolish old man, his credit card was stolen, but he did not want to make a report. <laughs> That's what I have thought. Men are fools. <laughs> Curious to know the answer of Mr. Smith, I jogged to Mr. Smith and I asked, Hey, Mr. Smith, how are you? I heard your credit card was stolen. And Mr. Smith said, I... <laughs> I heard from your wife that you refused to make a report. Why? And Mr. Smith said, <coughs> Young lady, come here. Do you know that the thief is spending less than my wife does? <laughs> Why do I bother to make a report? <coughs> oh dear, this is terrible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, by just changing my perspective of looking at things, I have discovered a whole new world of jogging. Just imagine when you jog in a park for three laps. This time you will see fresh green trees, bright colorful flowers, energetic joggers, cheerful walkers, and beautiful animals. <laughs> well, it's time to go for jogging. <laughs> <laughs>